Bladers, I've spent the last two weeks working on something completely different. What if I told you that the secret to building the strongest combo in Beyblade X is geometry? More specifically, the triangle. After tons of testing and theory crafting, I've created what might just be the most powerful and scientifically sound combo yet. Scorpio Spear 960 Gear Point. Let me show you why this shape and this build might just change everything. When it comes to geometry, no shape is stronger than the triangle, and there's a reason why it's used in everything from bridges to skyscrapers. Triangles are inherently rigid, which means they can't change shape without changing the length of one of their sides. That gives them their stability. In comparison, shapes like squares or rectangles can easily collapse and deform unless you reinforce them. But a triangle, it holds firm. This rigidity is what makes triangles so powerful in engineering, and it applies just as well to Beyblade. A rigid shape doesn't waste energy trying to stabilize itself. Instead, it channels that energy directly into the battle. On top of that, triangles are amazing at distributing force. When you hit one corner, that force travels along the sides and spreads out evenly to the other two. That makes it ideal for both attacking and staying balanced under pressure. And here's a quick example. Fold a piece of paper into a square and press the top. It folds easily, but fold it into a triangle and push and it barely budges. That's the power of rigidity. That's the power of the triangle. Now that we know why triangles dominate in geometry, let's take a look at a few uh, triangular shaped blade options in Beyblade X. First up is Perseus Dark. It definitely has the triangular shape that we're looking for, but it's extremely light and the slope of its blades make it underwhelming both defensively and offensively. Next is Nightlands, one of my personal favorite blades. It's incredibly aggressive with decent spin retention, but it only weighs around 32.9 grams, which is not quite ideal. But then we have Scorpio Spear at around 40 grams, pushing up to 41 in some cases. It's currently the heaviest blade in Beyblade X. That extra weight gives it incredible throwing power. Yet because it has a slightly sloped triangular shape, it's surprisingly aerodynamic. Even better because of how evenly the weight is distributed between the triangular points, it hits hard without losing its stability. It checks every box geometry wants you to check. Now let's talk about the combo that unlocks Scorpio Spear's full potential. For the Ratchet, I chose 960. It fits perfectly with the triangular theme of this video, and more importantly, it offers amazing burst resistance and synergy. That means stability, and that's critical when you're swinging around 40 grams of metal. And for the bit, I went with Gear Point. Now, normally I avoid uh, Gear Point because it's wildly inconsistent. It's fast, but usually too fast to control. But when you pair it with something this heavy and this stable, it suddenly becomes reliable. You get an aggressive launcher that starts wild and then transitions into a dead calm, locking into the center like a boulder. It's honestly eerie how this combo shifts mid-battle. Okay, let's recap what we've done so far. We use geometry and physics to guide our decisions. We focus on rigidity, force distribution, and weight synergy. And with all of that, we create what I believe is the strongest geometry-based combo in Beyblade X, Scorpio Spear 960 Gear Point. But don't just take my word for it. Let's take this combo to the stadium and see if it really lives up to the math. Let's battle. In order to properly represent Scorpio Spear 960 uh, Gear Point's true power, we're going to be battling against four different meta combos. First base, six points will be the winner. We have Nightmail 960 Free Ball, uh, Phoenix Wing 760 Rush, Phoenix Wing 770 Point, and finally, uh, Wizard Rod 960 Ball. I only have two 960s, that's why it's missing it right now. Along with that, to ensure that every bay is in its uh, top uh, performing shape, we're going to be using the long grip cords uh, to ensure maximum RPM. Along with that, if you want any of the parts that you see in this video, or any Beyblade for that matter, go to basinbricks.com and use uh, code ENDERX, all caps, at checkout to get 7% off your order. Thank you to Basin Bricks for sponsoring the channel. Let's get started with the battles. To get started, we're going to be battling against Wizard Rod 960 Ball. First battle for the shoot. Oh, Rod get bursted so easily before. That's actually insane. Second battle. Shoot. Oh, that's a okay, that was Scorpio Spear with an extreme finish on Rod. Oh my god. Oh no, they, they were fighting.
hiding in, in the extreme pocket. Okay, that's a current score of 0 to 5. Next battle, free time to shoot. That is a final score of... That is a final score of 0-8. to eight. Scorpio Spear wins. Sorry, Rod, you're out of here. Next up is Phoenix Wing 770 point. First battle for Tango Shoot. Scorpio Spear with a KO finish on Phoenix. That's a current score of 0 to 2. Second battle, Tango Shoot. I'm not gonna lie, Scorpio Spear reminds me of like the X equivalent to Diablo Nemesis, like just the shape of it. Okay, that's Scorpio Spear with a spin finish. Current score of 0 to 3. Yeah, Scorpio's a monster. It's so well. It's a, honestly, it feels like the first real balance type in Beyblade X that's actually good at everything. Next battle for Tango Shoot. Probably gonna lose, but it's still insane that we came back and recovered this well. Okay, that's Phoenix with a spin finish current score of one to three. It's actually insane that we almost won that after getting stuck on the extreme line. Next battle for the shoot. <laughs> One to six, Scorpio Spear wins with an extreme finish. God, this thing's a monster. Okay, moving on. Time for our hardest fret yet, Nightmail 960 Free Ball. This is really going to be the test to see how good this combo really is. First battle for Tango Shoot. <laughs> So that's Nightmail with the spin finish. Current score of 1-0. Second battle for Tiger Shoot. It bursted Nightmail with like two hits. Okay, that's a current score of 1-2. to That's insane. Like, um, Scorpio bursted Nightmare, then threw its blade out through the extreme line. That's just nasty work. That's act. Oh, this is awesome. I really like Scorpio Spear. For anyone wondering, it's my new favorite, uh, Bay and Beyblade X. Which is insane, because Golem just became my favorite, and it's automatically been replaced. UX doesn't miss. UX releases are so sick, while CX sucks. <laughs> Next battle for <laughs> Another burst finished. That is a current score of 1 to 4. Scorpio hits so insanely hard. Because it's a triangle, it's basically amplifying all of its attack power into these three points. And because it's a triangle, all of that force is equal. So every time it hits like this, it's the same amount of force regardless of how it's rotating. It's really interesting. A lot of bays don't function in that way, where they can't put their maximum output into every single contact point. So yeah, it's really cool. Really cool. Next battle for Tango Shoot. Nightmare with a spin finish. Current score of 2 to 4.
Next battle, she's going to shoot. Oh. Oh my god, we got the KO anyways. Oh my god, that's a final score of 2-6. to six. We won already. Oh my god. I actually can't get over how powerful Scorpio Spear is. This thing's awesome. Okay, moving on. Next up is Phoenix Wing 760 Rush. First battle. First battle. First battle. Okay, that's Scorpio Spear with the spin finish. Current score of 0 to 1. Next battle, free toy. Okay, that's Phoenix win with a KO finish. Current score of 2 to 1. Next battle, free toy. Okay, that's Scorpio Spear with a KO finish. Current score of 2 to 3. Next battle, she's going to go shoot. Okay, that's Scorpio Spear with a spin finish. That's a current score of 2-4. to four. Next battle, she's going to go shoot. Okay, that's Scorpio Spear with a extreme finish on the game's thing. That is a final score of uh two to seven. Okay. Scorpio Spear is the winner. Damn. As y'all just saw, Scorpio Spear 960 gear point absolutely demolished the meta combos I had put it against. It beat not only Nightmail 960 free ball, Wizard Rod 960 ball, uh, Finks Wing 760 rush, Finks Wing 770 point. They all lost from burst, extreme, and KO finishes, even spin finishes. This combo has such insanely high RPM and striking power, but also great stamina due to how aerodynamic it is. I believe Geometry proved that Scorpio Spear 960 Gear Point is the strongest combo in Beyblade X. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified every time I upload, and check out my last video where I made the optimal Drawn Buster combo. It was pretty fun and people seemed to enjoy it, so you don't want miss out. But in the meantime, peace out, bladers.